Sonic DL scans fast enough to match the speed of the human anatomy. With Sonic DL, this kind of takes Air Recon DL to the next level. With Sonic DL, we're not able to only gain back that SNR, but able to further reduce the scan time by increasing our acceleration factor. If we could ever drive the MRI as fast as CT, we would be that much happier. And I think Sonic DL make that big step for us going toward that direction. I think deep learning is one of several tools, but really a critical tool to handle potential backlogs in MR volume. It's almost like coming out from the dark age. All of a sudden, you can see the lights. We can go somewhere. So this is what is why Sonic DL is so exciting to us. Now, as someone who is in the kinetic medicines and who do research, Sonic DL is also exciting to me for other reasons because we know that this is going to be the first stepping stone to be something a lot more. And in many ways, it's the same discussion I'm sure our predecessors had 30 years ago about digital. What's digital? How do I use digital? Is it here to stay? And now, of course, it's taken for granted. And I think AI is going through that same process as we speak.